it's that time of year again when a lot of you are thinking about Christmas gifts, holiday gifts, Hanukkah gifts, Kwanzaa gifts for your loved ones and your friends on your list. And maybe you have a loved one or maybe you are someone who lives in an RV or lives in a van or loves to camp or loves to go out on adventures and you don't know what to get them. Or if you're one of those people, your friends and relatives are like, what can I get you for Christmas? You can send them this video. Today, I'm gonna share with you eight things that make my RV life not only easier and safer, but also more fun. So in today's video, I'm gonna share my holiday, pretty much adventurer, but RV life, van life gift guide. Eight things that I think are gonna be perfect for anybody who loves to travel and loves adventure. Stay tuned. Ain't nobody gonna do it for you. Got to find your own. Hey friendlies, I'm Carolyn. Welcome back to my life living in an RV since 2016. And I have been through a lot of different products and different things along the way. Some of them I like, some of them I buy and they break or I stop using them. And so today I'm gonna to share with you some of the things that have stayed with me or that I've bought in the last year or two that I really enjoy, that I think either you're gonna enjoy if your friends or loved ones are looking for things to get you as a full-time nomad, or that your friend or relative who is a full-time nomad might also enjoy. The first half of the list are things that are very practical. The second half are gonna be things kind of just for fun. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with something that's, uh, you know, a little like it's not a necessity. Something that has made my life living in an RV a lot more easy and convenient. And it's these. It's a set of clamps. I've got two of each size. And there are, there's this size. There's the itty bitty baby size. There's a, another medium size. And then there's the big, big ones. You would be amazed how much I use these. I use them for everything from making sure my curtains stay in place up in the front that go to the cab to <laughs> many of you who follow me on social media. I've got a leak in my roof and so I had to put a garbage bag over my antenna. I'm gonna get to that. We'll make a video about it, fixing it. And uh, clamping on a uh, garbage bags to cover up the leak. I mean, these things, I just can't tell you. I actually bought these in British Columbia on my way. You guys know, what's the store? Leave the store below. The big home um, hardware store. But you can also get them on Amazon. So every product in today's video, if you want to shop on Amazon, if that's how you prefer to shop, I'm going to put links below so that you can shop through my Amazon store. All right, so clamps, I'm telling you, if you know someone who's living in an RV and you're looking for a gift and it's, you know, without breaking the bank, this is a, a great gift. It really is. The next thing I want to tell you about is something for safety. And you might have a loved one, maybe a grandma or a mother who's going on the road and mostly women usually get the most like I'm gonna worried about your safety <laughs> men too but mostly women I hear you know my my grandkids my my kids are worried about me so this to me is a must-have for anybody who especially is solo on the road and that is a personal GPS device this is an old spot I have had this since 20 15 I think I, I took this on my uh, long my first long hike on the John Muir Trail So this is twofold this thing. I'll give you two reasons why this thing is awesome so it allows me to Notify people if I'm in trouble. It also this is an older version. It doesn't have a phone There are newer versions where you can actually communicate back and forth via satellite So you don't need a cell signal to communicate with one of these this one does not have two-way communication I can set it up ahead of time. I go on their website I set it up who are your emergency contacts and I can have several and then there are different buttons on here One is just to say I'm okay don't worry about me. One is to just send another message. So you can actually set up these two buttons to two different people. So I kind of have them set up 
you know, the first one is to my friend, hey, if you're trying to contact me, I'm out of service, don't worry about me, I'll contact you when I get back. So that's what this one says. The next one actually goes to my therapist <laughs> because she worries about me. So the next button is, okay, I'm gonna miss my appointment today, don't worry, I'm off grid, I will let you know as soon as I get back. And then the third button on here is actually unhook this there you go. And there's a red button that'll call search and rescue. There's actually a third button on here as well where you can alert your whoever is on that list. You can alert, you, again, you set that up. It could be a different list. It could be the same list to say, hey, I'm in trouble. I called search and rescue, but you might want to follow up or whatever. So you got an SOS button here. It's red. It's covered so that you can't hit it by mistake so that you yourself, if you're in trouble, you don't have to have a cell signal. It works on satellite. If you're in trouble, you can call search and rescue. The other thing that I think is a huge benefit for RVers or van lifers is I can use this for roadside assistance. Every time I talk about this, people are like, I just have AAA. I just have Good Sam. That's great. But can you call AAA if you don't have a cell signal? Mm -mm. Can you call Good Sam if you don't have a cell signal? Mm -mm. So I've used this several times now. I did a video. I'll put a link up here and at the end. The first time I used it, I wasn't really sure how it would work. I've used it twice since then, and I don't think I recorded them. I got stuck in a ditch in Quartzsite last year. Um, and they were using this out of cell service, and they did respond. So that is the benefit of having SPOT. It's called Save Our Vehicle, SPOT, S-O-V. But I think that this is a much better solution for roadside assistance than AAA or Good Sam because with AAA or Good Sam, you can't call them if you don't have a cell signal. So you can use this. You can get roadside assistance without a cell signal using Save Our Vehicle. So it's $11 a month just for the tracking without the Save Our Vehicle. So I do pay $11 a month just to have this in case I ever need it. And it's good if you're going on a hike, you should take it with you. You know, it's just really good to have if you ever need search and rescue. The Save Our Vehicle plan is only $30 a year. $30 a year for roadside assistance that you can get even if you don't have a cell signal. There is a, an additional $25 annual maintenance fee. So I pay $205 a month for the whole package for the roadside assistance and for having the monthly subscription. So go to their website, check out the different devices they have. I think the cheapest one might be $100, maybe $150 by now. And they, they go up depending on the type of device, if you want a phone and two-way communication from there. But if you have a loved one on your list who is going out adventuring on their own and you're worried about them, this is an awesome, awesome gift idea, okay? And the third gift idea, which is actually three in one, are flashlights. I have three different flashlights that I use for different things around my RV and in my RV life. This is a new one that I just bought. And so far of all the flashlights I've had in my RV life, this is my favorite. It's a thousand lumens, so it's super bright, but it's got three settings. It's got the super bright a thousand, it's got a, a dimmer one that's not as bright, and then it's got a flashing one. What I like about this, and what I was specifically looking for when I was looking for a new flashlight, was something that's rechargeable. So this is USB. It comes with its own USB cord, and look at that. You can charge it. How's my autofocus doing here? You can charge it using USB. So you don't have to worry about batteries. You don't have to worry about it ever. The battery's going dead or anything like that. So this is one flashlight. Another reason I really like this, for a couple of years, this was my go-to flashlight, this little itty bitty thing, which is also super bright. And I, I got this one on Amazon. I got this one at Tractor Supply. But at this one, and I still recommend this one, also USB rechargeable. This one I like because I can carry it in a pocket. And this one I keep by my bed. Yeah, I have a little uh, shelf thing by my bed. So this one, it's not as bulky. I keep it by my bed. And this is what I've been using as a flashlight for a couple of years. It comes in a packet of four. I only have one left. I don't know where they all went. And, but what I, when I got this one, what I really realized when I'm out walking around in the middle of the woods in the night by myself, this one is heavy. I mean, this thing, poof, this thing is 
heavy. <laughs> so I feel like I have a little extra safety going on carrying this if I ever had to clobber something or someone over the head, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right? So I really like this. It's heavy. It's solid. And seriously, if I had to clock somebody, this would really do a much better job than this. And the other one that I really like, this was a gift from Sally from a viewer a couple years ago. And I don't know if you've seen these. They, it, it, it's bendy. So you can put it anywhere. Look at, you can put it around your neck. You can put it around your head. So if you want just a light to read at night, look at, it's got different settings. You can do one side or both sides. Look at, I don't know if you can see, there you go. Yeah, see, look at that. How cool, right? <laughs> so it's bendy. And what's really awesome about this as a solo RVer, sometimes I have to crawl under the rig to look at things, see things, you know, is something leaking, is something broken, or I have to get a light in a tight space. This thing is, it really comes in handy. I mean, it's a lot smaller than either of my other flashlights. And if I have to crawl um, under the rig and look up, I can just put this around my neck and aim it to wherever I need so I can be hands-free for screwdrivers or wrenches or whatever I have to do. So those are my three flashlights that I highly recommend as gifts for anybody who loves to camp or RV or do van life. So I talked about safety with the flashlight. Here's another thing. Number four on my list that I think any solo RVer, especially solo, doesn't have to be solo, something that I think is a really practical safety gift for anybody that you might be concerned about. You ready? You ready? Qua. <laughs> Qua. Mm-hmm. Look at that. All right, my neck knife. I bought this before I went on my Pacific Crest trail hike a couple years ago, many of you see that series. I hiked 576 miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. I knew that I was going to have to be hitchhiking from trailheads into my resupply points. And I, would, I don't worry about being on the trail really, but I knew getting in cars with strangers. So I wore this around my neck for the whole 60 days, 56 days I was on the trail. And it's got a, it's got a hard plastic case so you don't have to worry about it stabbing you. I also used it as a spoon on the trail a couple times. If you'll remember, I kept using, losing my spoon. And it's super sharp and it's just really nice to have. I do use this. I put it on the other day. I went for a hike, I think it was after dark. This is a really good uh, tool, a really good gift idea for anybody. If you know anybody who hikes or camps, especially alone, lives in an RV, lives in a van, this is, I don't know, it wasn't even that much. I don't even remember. I'll put it here, I'll look it up for you. Uh, but it's a really great gift for peace of mind, if nothing else, okay? So uh, I guess this is worth mentioning, but I bought a breakaway. So I wanted to have a breakaway uh, clasp on it so that, you know, I mean, what am I going to do with, uh, like this, right? <laughs> so I wanted to be able to break it away so that I, if I need to use it in a hurry and I don't have to try to get it over my head. So I will put links to both of these. I got them both on Amazon, the breakaway lanyard and the neck knife. Excellent gifts for anybody on your list, all right, who loves to go out and adventure, especially alone. The next gift item on my list is binoculars. I didn't have binoculars when I first got on the road. You might think that's silly. I think most people, nah, I don't know if most people have binoculars. I can't tell you how much these come in handy. So not only are the binoculars are nice, practical for knowing what's around you, but it's also fun just to be able to look around, see what's in the forest, spot wildlife, birds, nests, you know, a weird clearing off in the distance. What is that? Maybe scouting new campsites. It's like, hmm, what is that down there? Maybe I can get to that. But the practical and safety use of these as well is there have been a couple of times I'm camped out in a forest by myself and a truck or car comes along and they park far enough away from me that I can't see what they're doing inside and they might just sit there or might just park there. And I, what's the number one rule for safety? What's the number one rule for safety on the road? 
being aware of your surroundings. So I'm not nosy. I'm not sitting here spying on them just because I want to, well, just because, just because I want to know what they're doing. I want to know what they're doing to protect myself. For me, that's part of being aware of my surroundings. What are they doing over there? Uh, you know, especially if it's an odd spot, if it's not another camp. Sometimes it's like, okay, you know, that might be a camping spot. Are they going to stay? Are they unpacking? You know, just for my own well-being and emotional safety, I want to know what's going on around me at all times. You know, if I start seeing something weird going on there, you know, like they take a body out of the trunk or, you know, a kidnapped kid or something out of the back seat. I, I want to know. <laughs> and yeah, okay. Um, you know, I'm probably going to get some crap for that, but that's okay. That's what I do to feel safe out here as a woman traveling alone. Of course, now I have Sadie. Sadie is a very good watchdog, but yeah, so the, the binoculars are an excellent gift. These are Nikon pro staff and I'll put a link in the video description all right so let's go inside I've got a couple of things inside we're gonna get to the fun stuff now less practical and more fun but let's go inside I'm gonna show you and let's not forget the Carolines RV life and Sadie 2022 adventure calendar they make a great gift for anybody who dreams of being on the road anybody who loves adventure loves nature loves scenery I've hand-picked 16 pictures from my travels some of the best scenery across the country from uh west i think all the way from california all the way to maine yeah so some really great photos hand-picked by me this was a special request you guys have been asking me for a long time for a calendar so we put one together this year we have them in hand we're getting ready to ship so order your calendar now it's only $24.99 that includes shipping and handling this is a small batch we just printed a few hundred so uh you know you're gonna have not one of a kind but you know this is gonna be not like you know the typical calendar that you see everywhere it's it's hand-picked photos of our life so get your calendar on my website carolynsrvlife.com we're going to be shipping them throughout the next couple of weeks so order it now and you should be able to get it by christmas all right so carolyn's rv life adventure calendar um you guys thank you all so much who have ordered already we have some left so order yours now thank you and number six on my list of great gifts for full-time RVers or even part-time RVers and nomads is this. I really like having this. This is kind of practical, I guess, and kind of fun, but it's a thermometer. It comes with an outdoor thermometer that I usually hang on my mirror outside so that I can see the temperature outside. I know the temperature inside, the humidity, which has been really helpful traveling east this year. Just, I don't know, just to know how miserable I can be. <laughs> Just to know how miserable I can be justified in being. But, you know, it also has the time and the date. It shows the moon phases, so I really like that. And it also shows you trending. You know, is the temperature trending up or is it trending down? Is the humidity trending up or trending down? It also has a setting to show you the high and low. So you push a button, I'm not sure which one it is, and it'll show you the day's high and low. Like what was the lowest temperature it recorded today or the highest temperature it recorded today. So that's a pretty cool cool thing too you know in case you're not looking at it every second of the day you're like how hot did it get here today you can push a button and it'll show you so this has been just really nice to have I mean I really like just knowing when I wake up in the morning is it 28 degrees or is it 32 degrees it just is kind of nice to know so that is a great gift idea for anybody who lives on the road and number seven on the list of great gifts for anybody who lives in a vehicle or travels part-time is this new little lamp I got. So I hate my overhead lights in here. They're either too bright or too dim or they're in the wrong place. I like mood lighting and I do have some string lights hanging around but they all run on battery. I know they have ones that run on solar but how do you put indoor lights up so that they can charge on solar, which is outside. I haven't figured that out yet. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. So this thing though, as far as a mood light, it, it's rechargeable by USB. Look at, oh, look at that. Look at this, Boah. red, green, blue, 
green again, purple, blue. It's got different shades, different darknesses, and it's also got one that changes colors. And it's got a remote control. <laughs> How cool is that? Look at that. There we go. Really nice gift for anyone who lives in an RV or a van. You don't have to worry about it getting too hot. You don't have to worry about anything, you know, and it just is really nice. I really like even just the bright, uh, the bright white light. It's not bright white. It's, you know, got a nice frosted uh, dome on it. So it's a really, really nice light. This is a great gift for anybody who lives on the road in a van, in an RV. And I'm going to put a link in the video description so that you can get it on Amazon. That's where I got it. Really cool. And finally, I'm going to share with you the product that has changed my life. And it's going to change your life too. <laughs> and it's the perfect gift for anyone who who lives in an RV or travels in their RV a lot. You ready? You want to see what it is? Opening up my cabinet. What's in there? This is my coffee cabinet. Look at this. Mm-hmm. So I had been using a little, like a spice grinder, like a KitchenAid spice grinder for years since I've been living on the road to grind my coffee. And my coffee is inconsistent and good co coffee that was supposed to be good didn't taste good in my, in my French press. And, uh... I finally decided, you know what, I need to break down probably and buy, I'm buying expensive coffee. I need to be grinding it right. So I bought this new Krups grinder and it has changed my life. You all know how much I love coffee. Do you guys love coffee? <laughs> I know you guys love coffee too. So, and what's nice about this is I can run it on my battery. I mean, it runs on 110, but it doesn't take a whole lot of energy. So, or a whole bunch of power. So when I get up in the morning and my battery is at its lowest, I can plug this in and grind my coffee. I love it. I can set this for how many cups I want to grind. There's a little button on the side for how coarse and how fine I want it. So I've been able to kind of play with it to fine tune what works best. And I can see, I can store coffee in here. And then it, what's really awesome is now you know, I used to use a tablespoon and heaping tablespoons of coffee, and it was different every time. Sometimes the heaping tablespoon would be small, sometimes it would be big. So now I just leave it on four, grind the coffee, pull this out, and just empty the whole thing into my front press every morning. So I get consistently good coffee. So if you've got somebody on your list who lives in an RV, maybe even a van, or you just love coffee yourself, I swear this is a this is the best thing that ever happened to my coffee drinking. It's the best thing that ever happened to my morning. <laughs> it's a Krups, and look at it, it's small enough that it fits in my little coffee cabinet here. See? How awesome is that? So that is one of the one of the best things I have bought lately, and I am really, really happy with it. It really has made my coffee. You, I can't believe what a difference a grinder makes, and it really has made my coffee so much better. So uh, check the video description below. I did get it on Amazon. It is $70, but I'm going to tell you it's worth it. <laughs> it is worth it. If you have a coffee lover on your list, or if you're a coffee lover and you're looking for something to make your coffee experience a little better, I highly recommend this grinder. And just a reminder, I am not, not no, none of the products that I'm talking about in this video have sponsored me. I am putting Amazon links. I am an Amazon affiliate, which means whenever you shop Amazon through my store, I earn a small commission and it doesn't cost you anything. But uh, I'm just promoting these products right now because I love them. <laughs> so, you know, again, if you have somebody on your list who lives an adventurous nomad life or loves to camp, I think a lot of these products would be great gifts for them for the holiday season and if you're a full-time nomad and your friends and family are saying what do you want for Christmas and you like something on this list share the video with them and show them so uh, what things do you love for your RV or van life what are some of the things that either make your RV life easier safer or uh, you know just more fun you know like the lights just something or the coffee just something for fun let us know below do hashtag my favorite thing. Let's do my, hashtag my favorite thing below and tell us what your favorite RV or van life thing is. Maybe it'll help people who are looking for gifts. Maybe your ideas will also help give them some ideas of what they can get for their loved ones. 
All right, so that's li my list of my favorite things. And now I'm going to tell you about a small business who has volunteered to give you guys a chance to win one of their awesome pr uh, products or services in exchange for me telling you a little bit about their business. Another idea for you this year when you're doing your shopping to support small businesses. So let's do that. And today's small business that I want to tell you about and hope that you will support through the holidays when you're thinking about gifts for your loved ones is called Embrace the Angel. You might remember she participated last year and had such a great response to her wonderful angel pillows that she wanted to participate again this year. So the uh, business is Embrace the Angel. The owner is Patty, and she says this about her business. Born in the City of Angels at the Queen of Angels Hospital, I gave birth to an angel who died on my 27th birthday, October 30th, 1980. Since then, I've been fulfilling her legacy of helping a lot of people, especially those who are dying and the loved ones they leave behind. I'm a certified life coach, an end-of-life doula, a certified grief educator and coach, and an entrepreneur. And you can visit her website at embracetheangel.com to learn more about her services and products. Great company, great mission, love the personal story. So many small businesses have these great personal stories. And she's giving away another angel pillow this year. The one that, that she gave away last year went to a child in a hospital, I believe. Something really touching and sweet. And it, like I said, it just touched her so much that she wanted to participate again this year. So the pillow is a 100% pure silk satin, 16 inch by 16 inch. And there are, uh, there are inspirational quotes that frame 99 drawings of angels donated by children around the world. They're, it's colorful and cuddly, and the pillow is going to become a treasure for a child you love. So she's going to be giving that away. And if you want to win the angel pillow, do hashtag angel pillow. Okay, hashtag angel pillow if you would like to be this, if you would like to win this pillow. A little bit more about her mission. Through her Be an Angel, Comfort an Angel Global Initiative, they donate a silk Embrace the Angel scarf, tie, or pillow cover to a bereaved mother, father, or critically ill child for everyone purchased. Okay, so if you want, if you're looking for gifts this year that have meaning, what a beautiful meaning, right? Every time you purchase a pillow, uh, you're giving back to someone who is going through one of the hardest times, the hardest time, losing a child. I have friends who've lost children and uh, it's the hardest thing I think a person will ever go through. Um, the value of the pillow is $60. Again, if you want to win, do hashtag angel pillow. And I highly, highly encourage you to shop her website to help her with her mission of helping bereaved parents. Okay. Thank you all so much. All right. Happy holidays. You all mean the world to me. I am grateful for each and every one of you. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, leave your comments below. All right. Happy holidays to everyone out there and I will see you soon. In the meantime, be happy, be free, and be kind. I will see you soon.